All right, so welcome back to the little coding. In today's video, we're going to set up the Tailwind CSS with our React projects. So if you don't know Tailwind, or it's just a utility first class framework that allows us to do styles to the our components or our HTML without leaving the page. There's, uh, you can check out the document more about Tailwind if you haven't heard about Tailwind yet. So, and also there's a great tutorial for you know, how to use Tailwind as well. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set it up with the uh, React. So let's get started. All right, so here I'm using VS Code, so you can use any ticket data you want. So here's the blank React apps uh, that I'm using uh, create React app to generate this one. So the first thing first that you need to do is to install the Tailwind into our projects. So you need to run this command right here. So we need to install the Tailwind and also the post CLI and that's be able to convert the Tailwind to, uh, into the CSS and also the auto prefixer that's going to generate the WebKit or Mozilla prefix in a forward CSS and you can see right here I'm specified the version of it so because uh, if you don't do this it will it's going to fail when we do the uh, uh, compiles the Tailwind all right so so you need to run this command you can get it from the description so next what we need to do is to run npx tailwind css conf, uh, init and then you need to specify dash foo so for this one it's going to generate the our tailwind configs uh, that you can see right here there's a seams and that you can customize and change this one so next we want to uh, create the styles so the style the place where the tailwind is going to locate it so the tailwind css and also the where and also the main css i'm going to explain why we need this too so then we need to import all right so we need to import uh, the tailwind right here into our uh, tailwind.css so then uh, we need to uh, compile this one to our main.css so the way that we do that we're going to use post css so i'm going to create a file called post css.config.js all right so in here i'm going to write uh, the do the tailwinds equal to require tailwinds and also we what we're going to do is to module.export and then we're going to add some plugins so the plugin is going to be requires so slash yes yeah, slash tailwind config uh, .js right here and also require auto prefixer all right so okay i think oh wait i think i'm using wrong so this one should be tailwind so the tailwind here need to get the tailwind configs. All right, so this one is gonna be CSS and okay. So then what we need to do is to compile this one into the main.css. So what we can do, we go into package.json and we write some scripts to do that. So for that, I'm gonna name it build CSS. And what we're gonna do is we do post CSS and then we need to specify like get the location of the tailwind css right here so in it located in force style slash tailwind.css and we want to get output so the output is going to output in the main.css right here so for that and at the same location source style slash main.css and if you want to watch this one, so every time it change, it's gonna got build. So we can do like that, and then we can do command watch, and then we want to add the this one with the watch right here. All right. So now let's go ahead and run npm run build css. So yep, that's it. So it's now it's uh, finished. So if we go back into the main.css, we can see it's uh, generate 
uh, compiled to this one and also next what we need to do is to go into our index.js i'm going to remove index.css right here then i'm going to import from style so import style so style and then we do main.css so then we can use it in our application so to test that we go into our apps uh, right here i'm going to remove this guy and then i'm going to add h1 and i say hello world and then I'm going to do and run npm start. Okay, so now let's see. Show it works right here. So we can see that's a hello world right here. So let's see. one. Uh, and then I'm going to do class name. And then I'm going to do text for XL. And then we want to do the font bowl. And now if we go back, as you can see, it's fun both so it works so yeah i think that's pretty much it for this video and i hope you find it helpful and probably in the next video i'm going to do more related tailwinds with the react all right so see you guys in the next video peace